Patel. Hari, you may begin whenever you are ready. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, we can hear you clearly and we can see you clearly. Okay, great. Hello, everyone. Let's assume that you are sitting in a waiting area of a particular office or a hospital, for instance. You've been sitting there for about 10 to 15 minutes with nothing else to do. And you know that you're supposed to wait for about 10 to 15 minutes more. There are a few others with you in the waiting area. So now, how do you break the ice? Generally, at this point, the conversations like, how's the weather today? Isn't the weather nice today? Come in really handy to break the ice. We often use weather and climate in our daily conversations, but do we really care about them? Well, now it's high time that we do. In this recent times, we are also caught up in making our lives easy and luxurious in completing our goals and targets that you are actually forgetting how to do it the right way. Climate change, it's high time that we change. Climate change refers to long-term shifts in temperature and weather patterns. The shifts may be natural, such as through variations in the solar cycle. But since the 1800s, human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to the burning of fossil fuel, coal, oil, gases, and also due to the increased concentration of greenhouse gases. According to an estimate, the Earth's global temperature has increased by about 0.3 to now 1.1 degrees Celsius since the beginning of this century. By the middle of the next century, the Earth's global temperature may be 1.5 to 3 degrees Celsius higher than that of today. This is what we call as global warming. The warming of the planet impacts local and regional climate and also causes the weather patterns to change. So here are a few steps that we could all take to fight climate change such as talking to our friends, family, and neighbors about the issues that really concern us. We can spread awareness in schools and also launch climate action volunteer programs within the school. We must urge the politicians and the governments to shift subsidies from fossil fuel-based energy to renewable energy and also promote energy efficiency. We must cooperate with the global organizations and the governments by putting their guidelines into implementation. Youth all over the world must unite to not just talk or write about climate change, but to really work to fight against it. Even if it means by growing one plant at a time or shifting to a better alternative instead of a fossil fuel based resource. We must follow the idea of reduce, reuse, recycle and implement and follow the sustainable development idea. We must work for the restoration of our environment. The list for this is non-exhaustive. So every effort we make, counts. Everyone tends to think that climate change is something that is happening in the polar regions, you know, the Arctic and the Antarctic, and not as something that is affecting us personally. That is our biggest mistake. Today, we are all in the midst of a climate crisis. And if we don't do something about it, we will face consequences which are way beyond our control. Nations all over the world are struggling to find better alternatives to reduce their carbon emissions while also maintaining their economy. There are various deals, agreements, summits, roundtable discussions, protests happening for climate action all over the world, so much that the people are now getting climate change fatigue. But on the other hand, the droughts are still happening, just with more intense effects. Coastal regions all over the globe are still getting submerged. Cyclones and tornadoes just keep getting more catastrophic. Plants and wildlife species are becoming extinct. Adverse effects have been seen on the mental, physical, and social well-being of humans. Even though everyone say that they're trying their best, the climate is still changing. So now, instead of climate, what is supposed to change is our mindset and our perspective. Together, we need a collective will and commitment to just get into action to fight climate change and get things done. Because as of now, there is no planet B. We need to understand that we have not inherited this earth from our ancestors, but we have just borrowed it from our children. We need to realize that the future of our beautiful blue planet, our home, our futures depend on nobody else but us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Patty. For the first question, I call upon Principal George Vandekor. Hello, Perry. Now, we have been uh, looking at preventing climate change, and it looks like you've done a lot of research, but I think we will also have to cope with 
climate change. Did you find anything in your research that would suggest ways of coping with climate, climate change? Yes, we all know that we, at one point or the time, in any way, in various aspects of our life, we have to just adjust to our surroundings. One, we, one, one effect we can see that uh, we wear masks to prevent ourselves from the diseases. We also need to prevent ourselves from the pollution that is going on. We need to shift, uh, we need to take actions that help us coping from the effects of climate change, which would include uh, like, um, you can think about something as a helping group or a group where we could discuss our problems, which we could, in which in community together, we can get over this change and also reduce the anxiety caused by it. Does that answer your question or do I need to elaborate more? No, that's a pretty good answer. Yes, yes. There, there are mechanical things that people want to do too. It's building dikes and things, you know, and shelters and things like that. But that's very good. Thank you. Yes, we can. In my home country, uh, there's this thing that uh, they shelter their houses with a layer of mud, a specific layer of mud, which is a mixture of various organic things. So that's called a lippy. And if we do that uh, in a uh, tough the climatic conditions, such as uh, extreme heat conditions, the house remains colder. Thank you, Perry. Yes, thank you so and much. For, and for your second question, Professor Chu Yuan Miao. Yes, okay, Perry, uh, it's very good talk. And uh, in your presentation, <clears throat> you just suggest, uh, suggest everyone need to take action to fight the climate change. And uh, can you share something with us about your actions, such as uh, what changes or what actions you have taken to fight climate change? Yes, thank you for the question. Uh, first of all, I have made this uh, resolution. I would say like two years back, I've decided that I would be going to school on my foot. I would not take any bus ride or any uh, vehicle to my school and I'll just walk to my school. We have also, we have also adopted the reduce reuse principle as much as possible. And we also have a solar panel in our house. And in our house, we try to, you know, uh, decompose everything, our waste material and use it as a manure for our home gardens. And there's one thing that we all did. I, uh, in my society and community we are living, I uh, gathered all my friends and during one of the, one of the summer vacations, uh, we planted trees, uh, saplings around the entire community. And uh, we made people, you know, promise or write that they will take care of these plants till they grow to maturity at least. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you both.